All right. Just going to keep playing uh, Elden Ring. Last time I was in the Lake of Rot, I think it's called. Did some Rani questline things, got this weapon. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep going from there. I think I'm going to use the same uh, quality, like uh, processing or whatever. Because the last one I did seemed okay. It seems a little bit better than the than the other one I tried before, but it's very subtle. I think my biggest issue with quality is that I, I have a screen that can only go up to 1080p, and uh, that's like my problem. I need a 4K screen. And until I get that, which is like very expensive, so I'm not gonna be able to get one. And yeah, cool, let's just go. Um, I think I've done everything up there. There was some stuff that I missed back here, but I'm just gonna leave that for now and then just keep going down into what looks like some sort of temple, or at least temple quarter, Grand Cloister. Well, there you go, it's the Grand Cloister. Favorite place for everyone. Jump. I see there's a centipede down there. All oh, right, let me turn on my light. Bright lights, big city. And this is my second playthrough of the game. Um, I took a big break. I played in October last year for the first time, and well, not first time, but like my first playthrough or whatever. And then I took a break because I wanted to forget things so that I could replay the game and make it feel fresh again. Uh, actually, can I get over there? I don't know if I can. Can I use my horse here? Nope. No horse. Can't get up here. So I guess I. Oh, wait, I can get up here. Can I? No. Guess I'll just leave that. Let's get down here. Choo -choo -choo. Whee! Oh no, it's the cockroach boys. Cockroach boys, I fucking hate you. Wonder if I can do like a fat jump onto them. Let's see. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Butt slam. Oh shit, I forgot about my chat thing. I need to actually look at that. There will be like chat, like delays for me to like respond to to chat and stuff because um, I think I'm very far away from whatever YouTube servers there are. Um, I'm in South Africa, so it's like a very big gap. It's like the whole continent of Africa is in between me and Europe. So there will definitely be. Uh, why is my fucking live stream not working on my? Stupid YouTube app. Oh, uh, wait. I actually have my sound on. Okay. Um. Is it live? Yeah, it is live. Ugh, the YouTube, like, phone app is so, like, clunky. Let me just rotate my camera to see if it's. Christ. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I'm far away from the server, so there's latency, so there might be a big delay before I see, like, any sort of messages and stuff. Um, so just be patient. But I will try and read messages and reply if I see messages. But I have noticed I have missed some messages or I've taken very long because sometimes I get, like, really into the game or as well. And then it's like I completely forget to to look at the messages. There we go. It's annoying that the rot's here. And there's some items there. Some butterflies. Maybe if I just jump over here. Oh no. I'll have to get. I'll probably have to get the rot on me. So 
and shit's going down. Oh my god. No, oh, fuck off, I wanna pick up the item. I'm going to die. Um. I mean, shit happens, I guess. At least I got the items. I think it was like a somber smithing stone and some other thing. Oh well. It's one of those things. So where is it? It's like down there. So that's like not a boss one either. It's just a... A wild one. They usually drop uh, seeds though, I think, so I, I need to kill it if I want to upgrade my potion. Go to 11, but I think I probably need like three or four seeds now. Oh. So I see those guys actually patrol around. The annoying thing about this is do I really need to. Do I need to get rotted here in order to fight this thing? So that's very frustrating. And it's like I have an immune thing on already. I guess I need to wear other immune type things. Guess what I could do is I could run away. But the problem is I don't want to fight those things. I'd rather fight over there. So let me, let me kill these things first. I need to get my souls back. Run, 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 run. And then I need to quickly use one of these things. And heal. <laughs> Skills. How does he do it? This thing is annoying to fight. This weapon takes a ton of, like, uh, stamina. Oh. oh, did I knock him down? Oh my god. He fucking punished. Maybe I can do the fat man jump. Woo! <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting a bit overconfident there. Uh, don't lie. I thought I, I thought I would have I've dodged that. Okay, now I'm. Need to dodge that. So close. Fuck! I'm also dead. Almost. Fuck! This thing is annoying to fight. Come on. No! Yes. Fucking hell. I quickly have to use a bolus thing. Ah, oh, cool. I did get the golden seed. Nice. Did I use the... Oh, I did, but I'm... Uh, I need to use soap. Do I have soap? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Nothing like a good shower after a rot bath. Um, okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. I should probably go up and heal. Ugh, not heal. Use my, my souls or whatever. Let's see how much I need. 
actually need another 6,000, but I should have enough just to, um, I should have enough ruins just to, like, uh, level up, so it should be okay. Because I've been, I've been kind of keeping around these things whenever I need to either level up or, uh, or upgrade, like, my weapon and stuff. Let's go 1,200 in case I'm a little bit off. So I've just been taking up endurance now. I think I think my other stats are fine. But uh, I think once I get endurance to about maybe 25 or so, I'll probably either level Vigor or maybe Strength or Faith. Maybe Dexterity, I don't know, I haven't really decided. My weapon does scale like with uh, Strength, I think. A with Strength, so I am losing out a little bit on damage that my seeing as my Strength is like a bit lower. I wonder if I can actually... Actually, let me keep that on for now. I might change to the strength like uh, glyph thing if I um, once I'm out of this like rot area, because at the moment I think I need the immune thing. It does slow the build up a little bit. Oh, you didn't die. Still getting used to this weapon. I only started using it like. Oh god. It's not enough damage for this shit. Like, I'm not sure if it's better than the Zwyander, but uh, I'm just trying it out because I've been using the Zwyander mostly. Which is like my favorite weapon, probably. that uh, it's just a crafting material. I don't really craft much. Guess these guys are this must be something in the temple thing there. Oh I didn't die. And he got some uh, like invulnerability frames there for a second. Ah, he did what I was. I wanted to do that too. Fuck. Fuck these guys are annoying. Yeah, it's like really draining my potions here, actually. Could probably just ignore them, but there's items there that I want to get. Some of these like shiny flowers. Ghost glove ward nine. Oh, it's got eye level. I don't really use the spirits. Okay, so there's nothing this way. Oh, I see. It's another one of these uh, chests, resting coffin. That's crazy, so it's obviously that coffin there, but it's like such a big... Like, look at how far you can rest in it. I think they've probably done, did this because people probably kept missing this. Because it's not very obvious that you have to rest in this coffin. I suppose if you just go there and you're like, what the fuck, it's just a dead end. Okay, well let me go into this temple thing first. How would I... It's a bit annoying. So I can just smack him down with the power up. That's actually better than the backstab, I think. Fuck. 
Das ist doch mal Band Daggers. Smithing Stone. Yeah, cool. Is that all of them? Let me just see if I'm missing anything like behind here. After this like dungeon, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like I've had the Dictus medallion for a lot, quite a long time now, so I guess I could go up there to the Altus Plateau. Um, I'll see where this ends up and then take it from there. Ah, oh, it's just a chest. Looks like a trap. Huh? Okay. Scorpion Stinger. Okay. So what's that? Is that a weapon? It is a weapon. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail glistening with scarlet rot. Ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Uh, so the, those weird star beasts are outer gods, I guess. Repeating thrust. Twist to build power, then unleash a flurry of thrusts. Hmm. So this could be pretty good if you use it. Scarlet Rot build up 50. Because I don't think there's a lot of Scarlet Rot weapons from what I've seen. There's a lot of blood loss ones. So that could be actually pretty cool. But uh, I'm not sure how strong Scarlet Rot is versus like bosses and stuff. Okay, so that's all that's here then. Guess I have to go down to the... Down here. I wonder if I should use my souls before I do this. Fuck, but I need like 20,000. I don't think that's worth it. Let's just go and see. See what's beyond the river bends. This is the second like coffin I've used. The other one went up a waterfall. And then I didn't go further because I felt like there was kind of a shortcut that I didn't want to use. Because I was going to skip a bunch of stuff. It was where I fought the gargoyles in the, and the aqueduct in my last like, recording. So where does this go? Oh, it's fancy looking. Where the hell's this? So I was like up there and went down here. See, it's like a place by itself, it seems. Wait, is there. Is there like a waypoint here? Oh, it's a bus, okay. Let me just run around a little bit just to see if there's any sort of waypoint or anything. Or if I can get in the coffin again if I want to backtrack. Nope. Guess I could just teleport back. Okay, there's nothing here. So. 
because let's fight the boss. I only have five potions, I wonder if that's like bad. Oh, I see there's a stick of uh, America, yeah, that's cool. Okay, good. Hey, drone of storm torrents. Hello. Message retracted. I see you deleted the message. He's swearing at me. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's behind door number one. Astel. Oh, Jesus. Natural born of the void. Whoa. This is an awkward enemy to fight, it's like so big. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I can deal him a lot of damage though. I can't see his moves. Oh wow, well, it's done them actually. I think this weapon is like very good just to break poise. Oh shit. Okay, so this is not a very hard boss. Your shower. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Butt smash. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't really know his moves, so it's like I don't know. If So it wasn't very difficult. Like I think this weapon like is quite strong to versus him. Maybe holy damage deals more damage. Remembrance of the natural born. Cool. Keep grinding, brother. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, let's see, so what of that, let me just see if I can read that thing, actually it's a consumable, isn't it? Remembrance of Estelle, natural born of the void, hewn into the earth tree, okay. A malformed star born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky, a falling star of ill omen. Okay, so I guess he destroyed Nocron or Noxtella, one of those cities. Okay, cool. Is that like further on? Is that where I came from? No, I came from the other side, I think. Oh, so I can keep going this way, actually. Cool. I think I'll just like upgrade my. Uh, oh, I can actually gain two levels. That's cool. I'm just doing endurance just to increase my stamina, really. But uh, I think my damage is okay. Just from like leveling up my weapons, the damage has naturally just gone up by quite a lot. So I haven't felt. Oh, I could have actually changed this. I'm curious to see if I raise my strength. Yo, it goes up by thirty. That's crazy. So I could have done 13 more damage, like that's like, pretty good. That's very cool. Okay, let's see what's past door number one. Long and windy road. 
Oh, it's an elevator. Cool. I'm liking this weapon though, but I, I think I prefer this Winder over it. But it's, I'm gonna use it for for now, and because it does a lot of damage, and it does seem to break poise like very easily, which is cool. Deep Einsel Well. Moonlight Altar. Uh, okay, so this is how you get up here. Cool, so I'm still doing like Rani stuff then. Because now I've got the ring in my last sort of thing. Playthrough or whatever. Game, not playthrough, what do you call it? Recording? Oh, look at that, that's cool. Don't know if I can talk to... I've not been able to talk to Melina for a long time. I think the last time I man managed to talk to her was at a poor. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. So this is all like area on its own here, I think. Because there's like one of these dungeon things up here. Unless it's like just a tower or something. Wait, is there two moons? There's a moon there and there's a moon there. So I guess this is like a fake moon. When the two moons unite. <laughs> Some ruins. There's like a church thing there. Let's check out the ruins first. Stake of America. Moon folk ruins. I wonder if there's like a secret entrance again. Oh, there's some items there. Oopsie. Oh, these motherfuckers with their invisibility. Oh, they do quite a lot of damage actually. Oopsie. Be gone, zombie. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. I could hear like another one up here somewhere. Oh, that's over there. They actually teleport because it's like oh, maybe they don't. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I missed this thing. Oh, what the fuck? Why is there so many of them? Trying to see if any of this looks like there's like a secret maybe here. Yes. Yeah, because by the um, Carrion Royal House, there was also illusion, like an illusional two of them actually. That was like this. Somber Smithing Stone 8. I think I actually need the dragon one for this weapon. But I do need an eighth one for another weapon. God Slayer. No, I should. Oh, shit. oh, okay, that's a bit extreme. Oh, it's a skull. I was wondering. So there were some items over here. This orb is fucking strong, Jesus. It's like kicking the runes around like a fucking soccer ball. Hmm. 
There's a small tree there, but I think... I think if that's down in, in Lyurnia, I think I've gotten that one. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this church. Yeah, that is like two moons. I think you fight this one by when you first get to the sisters, the three sisters or whatever. They knock him down, oh my god. Might be better just to like use strong attack or something. This weapon feels a little bit better on the horse than, than the Swyander. Swyander is super slow. But I made a mistake there. Yeah, well, at least it's not too far away. It's like right here. so quickly because they can fly like so far away I think it like really like kind of messes up uh, I'm not sure which way is the best way to go here. see like now he's like all the way fucking over there oh, and he's actually disappeared yeah I see now he's like fucked out because he flew too far out of his uh, arena or whatever way you suppose you're supposed to fight him. Fuck. That like 
can't stun me a lot. It's gonna fully heal. Because he's not damage me, damaging me a lot. Oh, fuck. But when he is damaging me, he does a lot of damage. So much damage. Fuck. I wonder if it counts as magic damage. So then I could maybe get more magic resistance. Ugh, they're so awkward to fight, man. It's like I feel like I deal more damage when I'm not on the horse because I can just smack him, but. But then it's like he can like so easily one shot me with that fire, like fire attacks. Yeah, look at that. It's like so easy to break his poise. Fuck, can't get on that side. find them awkward to fight. Dragonheart, nice. A Dula's Moonblade. Cool. Sorcery of a Dula, the Glintstone Dragon. Conjures a cold magic greatsword. Then delivers a sweeping blow. Okay. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly. A doula, a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Rani and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. <laughs> okay. Cool. Also take more damage when frostbited. Oh, do I? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't actually read what frostbite does. Uh, now I've got quite a lot of... I actually got quite a lot of... Uh, oh, I see this uh, thing at the back there. A lot of ruins. I thought frostbite just made your stamina um, regenerate like lower, but I guess if it's like an amplified damage. Uh, 
Oh, there's a lot of starlight shards. Cool. Well, these are quite rare. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Endless supply. I wonder if you could come back here if they, like, respawn. I think it makes your FP regenerate, but look how little FP I have compared to all my other stats. Okay, let me just touch this to activate it. See, there's a cave over here. Oh, I've actually, like, gotten too many to carry now. That's funny. So it's like an invisible wall. No. <laughs> I thought there would be like an entrance on this side, but I guess not. Oh, here's another thing over here. This is probably another starlight. type thing. Okay, well, let me level it up. There's no invisible walls here, my guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. I also just like rolling against walls sometimes. Um... Yeah, I think that's fine. Just take up endurance. I'll probably just take it up to 25. Might even go 30. I should be able to like wear some heavier stuff now. But as far as I know, this was like the heaviest helmet. I don't want to change my helmet because I've been wearing it throughout the whole game. So it's like... Oh, I can wear clean rod gauntlets. That's better in every way, so let's do that. I don't know if I want to change my armor, because that's another thing I've been kind of wear. I've just worn it throughout the whole game. This is better in most ways. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, then I look like much more like knightly. Um. I feel like I prefer the buff look though. Like this just looks cooler, doesn't it? <laughs> like barbarian warlord type vibe. Let's drink some coffee. Should jump. Oh, there is a ledge there. We. It's difficult to see down here. Guess I'll just trust in the heart of the cards. That's very gory. Uh, it's like Ronnie's puppet. Put on ring. Okay. So I guess this is her like personal two fingers that she's gotten rid of now.
She already has a ring on, it seems. So I think this just unlocks the moon ending. Yeah, she does have a ring already. Guess this is the better ring. Such a like, creepy eye. That's a cool screenshot. Uh, that's like Resurrexo or something. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Okay, cool. Dark Moon Greatsword. That's the weapon I used in my first playthrough. But only, I guess, from up to this point, because that's when you get it. Insert wedding music here, yeah. It's like a bit gory though, it's like so fucked up. <laughs> it's like grotesque type. This creepy thing here. Actually it's like sort of rotten mushrooms and all kinds of shit. Okay, so is that, uh, that's all that's here, right? Guess I could read the inscription of the dark, dark moon great sword. Ah, oh, right, it's a sword, so it'll be up. Oh, it's... Oh, so it's just a greatsword, it's not a colossal sword, okay. A moon greatsword bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition, one of the legendary armaments. Rani's sigil is the full moon, a full moon, sorry, cold and leaden, and the sword is but a beam of its light. Cool. It's like when I got the sword on my first sort of playthrough, I respect into intelligence just so I could use it. Because I'd never used uh, one of the Moonlight swords in the other like Souls-like games, so I thought I might as well try it. And it's like, its ability is very strong. I think it's like, it makes you feel almost like, like using spells, it like shoots beams of light. And it makes it like quite easy to cheese some of the bosses. So I don't want to use it again. Wait, this is where I fell down. I'm getting confused now. Can I not like fall out from here? So I guess this, maybe this way? Oh, here's a little cave here. And there's some like going back where, I, no, no, there's an exit here. Cool. Right. We. And that's like the ending I chose in my first sort of playthrough as well. The moon ending or whatever. I don't know if the endings really matter because, like, I guess it only matters if there's a, a follow-up game or something. Now I guess the DLC will bring its own ending, like maybe Mikola's ending or something. Lunar State Ruins. So this is a diff these are different ruins. Oh no, I fucking hate these things. Ugh. 
I really struggle to fight like these things. Yeah. Ugh. Worst enemy in the game. Uh, Stake of America. Wonder where that is. Oh, it's actually like right here. Cool. It's like these types of enemies just don't give you a, a chance to to really like do anything. I guess you're supposed to like parry them or something. Yeah, fuck you. Toxic enemy. Ghost level 2, that's so weird. It's like a low rank one. Is there something behind you? Nope. Oh, shit, there. <laughs> It didn't look like there should be one, but I was like, uh, maybe... Smithing stone 8, cool. Oh, it's so weird, it's like the sun is out, but then... When you go outside, it's like it gets this kind of haze. Okay, so where haven't I been? Like down here seems to be a building, and then over here seems to be a building. Maybe over here. Let's just go there. I guess after this I should just go to the deck to like Altus Plateau or whatever. It's been a long time since I could have done that. Okay, there's the thing there in front. Oh, it's one of those towers. Mage towers. There's like caves and stuff here. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Yo, it's so dark, it's like I'm struggling to actually see. I wonder if this is like a... Maybe it's a marker for some... I'll just put a marker here. Actually, there's a lot of crystal here. Maybe it's nothing. Crystal snails. Let's go. Sight of Grace! Lost Grace, sorry. Guess I might as well rest at it. It's only like 20,000, so much.
Seek three great voice beasts. Okay. Um, ugh. Sometimes uh, it's not this. Oh, this one right here. I was gonna say sometimes they're like on these like cliffs. How the fuck do I get this though? <laughs> Maybe if I use the butt smash. No. What the fuck? It's like I can't target it as well. What the hell? Do I have to like die to get this thing? Maybe a crossbow or something might work. I don't know if I have... I should have stats for crossbow. Yeah, I do. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which one I use. It's like so awkward to use. Can I jump? There we go. Fucking hell. Because okay, so that's one. Now I need to figure out where all the other ones are. I think this one was like exception. Like it was like really awkward. I think there was one, like, they were, like, very far away. Can't remember, I, I think I, I had to, like, Google where the fuck to find them, because... I was, like, running around for, like, an hour and last time, and I couldn't figure out where the hell it was. But I think there's, like, tortoises by, like, sort of the area where they're at. I see there's some shit up there. Let me go this way first and see. Maybe it's up there. Oh, there's a tortoise here, so maybe maybe it's like over here somewhere. No. tortoise over there. So maybe it's like over here. Nope. I think there's probably just another memory stone so it might not even need what I'm gonna get. That's one of these. Get me. 
best way to fight him, but I guess it worked okay. What's this? Smithing stone seven, okay. I think I'm still on six with my cylinder. Smithing stone eight. Is this a nine? No, it's a seven. But let's see if the torch is up here. these crystallian guys. Prefer not to fight them, they look awkward to fight. Wait, what's this? No. That one's like just floating there. <laughs> Having a good time. Oh, there's a tortoise up there. How do I get there? Flying. Oh, I see. Um, that didn't work. Doesn't look like I can fight. Maybe I have to like hit, hit, like try and hit him somehow. Oh, there we go. Cool. You just have to jump into him. Did that actually get him there? Yes, it did. So then I need one more, but now I don't know where the last one would be. Oh shit! 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 No, no. Christ! <laughs> Fuck sakes! Knocking down mounted enemies. Okay. Wait, but now, is this still, like, active? Seek three white British beasts. Let me see if this one is, if it's, like, fixed, if it's already, like, been found now. Looks like it. Okay, cool, so it remains active, so you don't have to... Okay, so I do see it, it is where there's groups of tor tortoises. So there's some guidance, but now I don't know where the fuck the last one would be. Because this area is quite big, right? Let me just try to get my souls back because it's quite a chunk. Maybe it's like that way. Yeah, because this one's also been killed already. see any torches here. If I can't find this, I'm just going to leave it, because I think it's probably just a memory stone again. And it's like, I feel like trying to find it is like a bit tedious. Oh, yeah, there's a torches here. Maybe it's... Maybe it's this way, then. Yeah, 
Oh, there's some dragons. Let's see. I wonder if I could probably farm dragon hearts from these dragons. Or if they respawn at all. Let's see. Don't really want to get attacked by these dragons now. Hmm. I was down there already. Maybe it's in this like trees over here. This dragon looks like he's aggro. Let me just run through here quickly. I don't really want to fight them now. Oh, it's a similar... It's similar to the dragon I fought before, the magic ones. Can I get down there? Oh, <laughs> my god. I did not expect him to have that skill as well. Oh, so this is where I started, this is where I came out from. Okay. There's the church, the, ugh, the mage tower over there. There's no tortoises here. And I don't know if I'll be able to see them from like so far away if they like... Checking if this is where I started. Yeah, this is like a boar here. There's no torti. <laughs> Tortilla. This is like a beam of light there. I have been here. Lunar state ruins. Okay, let me go down. I have to go all the way around. Okay, that's fine. No, that's just another boar. I don't want to fight that weird uh, undead thing again. Revenant or whatever the fuck it is. I think it's called a Royal, Royal Revenant. I don't really want to fight it. Oh, there's tortoise here. So maybe it's over here somewhere. I see there's another one here. Uh, cool. This must be it, because here's a whole group of them. There is. Yes. It's so, like, Fucking hidden over here. Okay, cool. Seal here, cool. Thank fuck. Um, give me a teleport day. I think it's here. What a mission. Actually, can I level up? No, fucking it's only 13,000. So heavy. Shalona's Rise. I wonder if, uh, if that's one of the three sisters. But I'm not sure because they're called the three sisters. But then Rena's Rise, Rena is not a sister, that's like Rani's um, mentor or whatever. So I don't know. But then this one is on the sort of 
Ronnie's personal little space, so I'm not sure. Lore is like just so cryptic in the game. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. Oh, well. That's legendary. Ronnie's Dark Moon. So that's a spell. Legendary sorcery symbolic of the Carrion Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold, dark moon, then sends a floating pit floating toward foes. The dark moon dispels all sorcery. So it's similar to the other one you can get from uh, Renala's, like, Remembrance. This moon was encountered by young Rani, led by the hand of her mother, Renala. What she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in a cult mystery. Okay, cool. Okay, so then I just need to get... Wait, let me just get rid of that. Okay, then I just need to go to this thing here, I think. And then this area is probably... ...completed. Like, this game has got so much, like, just optional stuff that you can do. Because, like, I could probably have gone to... Up, like, to the Cap Altus Plateau and whatever. Probably, like, 20 hours or something ago. In gameplay, like, time. And I could have probably just skipped Caleb completely. Which is, like, crazy to me that... There's probably people that do do that, but it's like so weird that you can miss out on such a big chunk of the game. But then it's like also the game doesn't really guide you as much. So if you kind of just go from interest point to interest point, you can kind of just miss many, many things. Like, this whole area is like, this is like all like an optional area, right? You have to do Ronnie's sort of quest line to be able to get this. And all of this stuff is like very kind of cryptic in a way. Like, it's just, it, it's just crazy. I'm wondering how the DLC is going to be, like if there's going to be also like just very... Because the DLC has its own collector's edition, which is like, that's like crazy to me. I mean, it's only for the PlayStation version, which is annoying, but still. Okay, let's see what this is. It's not a giant. Uh, Electo Black Knight Ringleader, okay. It's funny that he got imprisoned for doing his job. Oh, actually, it's a, it's a woman, right? The black knife assassin's a woman. How did he fucking dodge? Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> she, sorry. That's interesting, so the black knife doesn't have any sort of bleeding buildup. Smack down. Oh, I missed. I feel like the butt slam is a bit too slow. <laughs> look, look at that. It's so easy to avoid. Ah, fuck. Oh. Nice moves. <laughs> fuck. It's like, cuts, it's, she's like cutting me by the time I'm like healed. Field. God damn it. Whoa. Oh, I see. 
see it's got the death, it's got the death thing, it's like actually burning away my HP. Okay, so it does have a build up of sorts. Get the stun again. Yeah, it's smacked. Ah, uh, that didn't do a lot of damage at all. I thought it would do more. I think I should just try to stay full life. This is actually quite a cool fight, though. It's like this character moves like so fast. It reminds me of the sword dancer from. Uh, just the movements, not really the fight itself, but the movements is very dancer-like. Ah, oh, nice, I got the fat slam. But butt smack. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Black knife tiche. Tish, tish. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've got quite a lot of souls, actually. That's like seventy thousand. Nice. Ringleaders ever jail. Okay, cool. So that's like the main assassin that killed Godwin the Golden. Legendary ashes and remains used to summon the spirit of Black Knife Tish. I'm just gonna say Tish. Tish was one of the assassins who, on the night of the plot, imbued her black knife with the rune of death to slew Golden Godwin the Golden. She was the daughter of the black knife ringleader Alecto, and was killed protecting her mother during their flight from the royal capital. Cool, okay. Um, okay, well, let me just level up again. And then I think what I'll do is I'll probably go to the Dictus lift. So let me level up there. So like I said, I've had this fucking medallion <laughs> for such a long time. And also I could have just skipped Caleb completely and just gone through this little tunnel here. Which is like just crazy to me. I'll you can miss so much of the game. Okay, let's level up. Um, I'll just keep taking up Endurance. I think it helps to just have more... Maybe up to 25 is probably fine, and then after that... I don't know. I don't know if taking up Strength is better, or if taking up Vigor is better, or maybe even Faith more. I feel like Faith has reached kind of a soft, soft lock now with 40. I don't know if there's weapons that might need higher faith than than what than 40 because at the moment this weapon needs only 24 and I think that's like the highest I've had really if I am correct maybe I'm there's too many fucking weapons to go through all of them all right let's go up here because now I've got this uh, medallion thing. Oh shit, that was a weird slide there. Hoist medallion. So I want to do this, but I also want to do the the shortcut method, or whatever you, however you call it, the, the alternative method. Because I feel like I'm I'm losing out if I don't do it the other one. Like I might lose some items and stuff. And smithing stones and crap. Man, but I'm probably so over leveled now. That's cool. Man. The I should have taken a fucking screenshot. Ugh, too late. Oh well. I could take the screenshots so I have like cool backgrounds for wallpapers. I guess it's 
raining on Alsace Plateau. It's not the best entrance. <laughs> There's a grace over there. Oh, I see there's golems. Let me get the grace first. So I wonder if this is like actually the better... If the other entrance is the better entrance, or if this one's the better entrance. Let's see if I can talk to Melina. I haven't been able to talk to her for a long time. Oh, you can. Not sure what her like, story is. The Earth Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Earth Tree. And the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Earth Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live. Burned and bodiless. Yeah, see, like, I don't really get what her story is. Like, I don't understand, is she one of the, like, one of the royal sort of children, or what? what is the deal? Or is she just a random, like, literally just a finger maiden of no renown? <laughs> So I think you come down there somewhere, so if, if you go through the other path, yeah, I see, like... I think I should rather do the other path, though. So I can't see any, like... Points of interest here, except these golems. Such a big area. Oh, look at these statues. It's cool. Oh, there's a camp here. What's that over there? And oh, it's doing guys praying. Oh, shit, and there's like stuff down here as well. Oh, it's these fucking things. Oh, nice, there's a... There's a jail down there. How did I get down here, though? This looks like a... This drop is much too big. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm like, much... I'm <laughs> way... Like, I've out-leveled this area, like, I think, by quite a lot. Now that I've been to, like, all these other places. Because, like, I went to Kaled, I went to, like, the Einsel River, I did the Carrion Royal House, I did Rani's, like, whole questline. Went to Nokron, Noxtella, I think. Yeah, there's, there's just been so many things, areas I've gone... And like I've just out leveled this whole area, I think. That's like bound to happen if you if you try and do everything, I think. Like unless you can like turn off Oh uh, well I suppose you don't have to level up, right? If you wanna like keep the game as like difficult as possible, you can literally just like not level up. But I'm, I'm not, I'm fine with like if it's, if the game's not like very difficult. There'll still be like challenges, like challenging fights and stuff. And these enemies generally like can still like smack the shit out of you if they, if you get like too confident or whatever. 
Um, I want to see if I can get a map. Don't see any maps on the thing yet. Okay, well, let me see if I can go down to this jail then. Oh, it stopped raining. Cool. Whoa. How would I get down there? It must be from the other side. Yo, look at that. That's that's epic. That's like so much better when it's like not raining. Sure. Let's see if I can get uh, down here. Oh fuck. Finished watching uh, the Fallout series, really good. I think they did a good job of uh, sort of capturing the game spirit. Like it's very gory and over the top, but it's also kind of funny and not like taking itself super serious. I think it's like, it's very cool. Yo, look at that. This is epic, man. Gold Lineage Everjail. The imp. Oh, what imp seal? Oh, there. Don't even see this. There's only white flowers around. Gold Lineage. God Freud the Crofted. <laughs> so is this like another God like like brother of Godfrey? God of Freud. <laughs> it's like a sound like a German name. But smash. I thought maybe I could get him, like, uh, stun him. Yeah, I got smacked. I wonder if this one will also get a dragon armor, though. Probably not. Sure, sure, sure. Oof. Yo, reach for days. I did actually get him. It's funny that he missed like twice. Nice. I think I should have smacked him honestly. It's so much more damage I think rather than doing the crit. That was not too hard. God free icon. Oh, cool. Wonder what that's about. Got like 30,000 experience as well. Golden lineage, ever jail. It's sad that the whole like golden lineage or like these freak type shows, if that's the case. Let's see what this does. Enhances charged spells and skills. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Godfrey raises charge, attack, power, sorceries, incantations, and skills. Godfrey was a ferocious warrior. When he vowed to become a lord, he took the beast regent Sarosh upon his back to suppress the ceaseless lust for battle that raged within. Uh, I see. So he needs Sarosh to kind of calm him down. Interesting. 
I've got the raw medallion as well. It's not got free. I don't use charge attacks very often because I feel like it's much too like slow. But it does it does do a lot of damage, so I'm not too sure if it's like worth it or not. Am I using the lantern? No I'm not. Okay, cool, so I found this. Oh, I'm sure there's actually a cave here. Or whatever this is, a uh, passageway? What are these? Uh, it's these fucking things. Like revenants, but, uh... Oh, and it's these, uh... These little dudes. Can't remember what they were called. Something legion. Beast Bone. I like this whole like autumn look that this area has. Like I think I'm a fan. I think that's my favorite season is autumn. Or fall. Not to show who calls it fall and who calls it autumn. <laughs> I know both words, but uh, golden rower. Might have been here, or no, actually, I don't think I have been here. This looks like a camp. Um, okay. What's that, like a ballista? Oh yes, I see up there. He's like bombarding his own like friends. It's like, dude, you trigger happy. <laughs> That's another one over here. Don't actually know if this is a ballista or like a scorpion or a scorpionol, something like that. I can't remember. I think one is bigger. One is more like portable. It's a big crossbow, generally. Fancy shield. I wonder if these dudes will have slightly better armor. Or if their armor will just have slightly different like stats, more resistant to curse or something. Or rocked maybe. I'm surprised there's no like uh, items inside here. I like their sigil. It's like a yeah, it's cool. It's very sort of Celtic looking, maybe even Nordic, Norse, Scandinavian. I guess Germanic. <laughs> It's just the one of these treasure chest things. Cool. Troll's golden sword. Oh, cool. I think I've had a troll sword before, but I don't know if I've had a this one. Sword given to the lesser giants who fought for the Earth Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Uh, so the trolls are lesser giants. I thought maybe that it, maybe it's a, a translation error. Like maybe they're not actually called trolls. They because sometimes they call them giants, and sometimes they call them trolls. So it's like it might be a translation issue. Though they have lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape, such that the gold plating had flaked away. Okay, cool. So there used to be golden swords. I thought this might need faith, but I see it doesn't. Troll's Roar. Okay, so I've gotten this one. Troll Knight Sword, which is kind of similar, but this one needs intelligence. Well, 
lightning grease. Uh, maybe I'll get the lightning redstone. I did want a lightning zoander. I've got a holy one at the moment. I might change it to a lightning one. Um, if I do find that. Oh, is this another one? Cool. Don't even see it. Must be blind. Great shield talisman. I'm guessing that's like to do with shields, but let's see. Talisman depicting a knight holding a great shield, boost guarding ability. The Knights of Lindell once modeled themselves after the tree sentinels. Their purpose is to protect that which deserves protection, and thus the shield always comes before the sword. Okay, cool. So they're all about defense. Very cool. Let's see, broken pot. There's not a lot of enemies here. Uh, there's a map there, I need to mark that. Actually, did I unmark the other thing here? Yes, I did. It looked like a weird sound, but I think I stepped over a... Oh, I see there's a tower up there. I think this is actually where you would have come out if, you, if I went up the other way. Look, there's a, a golden tree. So I've missed this if, because I've not gone up the other way. Oh, and there's like a side of grace. Uh, there's a thing up there as well, uh, one of those, uh, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called Crossus or something. So what's this over here, Lux Ruins. I wonder if there's a secret, uh, no? Like imagine if archaeologists really had to do this type of thing in order to like discover sort of ancient tombs and things that to like do like a Aikido roll. It's like yes, this is how we've been trained. It's like using a uh, you know excavation equipment is of the past. Doesn't look like there is any. Uh, maybe, maybe higher up. I see. I can go a little bit higher up. Machilla's lily. Well, let's see. I don't know if I've gotten a Machilla's lily before. Uh, no, I've gotten many. Flower signifying faith in the hillock tree. Thought to be beloved by the Empyrean Mikula in his youth. Okay. As far as I understand, though, Mikula is cursed with never aging, so it's like he's... I think he always looks like a, like a young like, kid. Because at the end of the DLC sort of uh, preview thing that they showed, there was like a kid, like look of blonde hair, looking at the earth tree. I think that's Nicola. Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay, I haven't seen them do that before. But honestly, these beast men have always like kind of just they die so quickly that even in like lower levels, I always felt like I was slightly stronger than what they were. Obviously, like here, I'm like much stronger, over leveled by, by like fucking probably like 40 levels.
I can't believe there's no, uh, there's no secret, like, fucking room here. I really feel like there should be. Because there's nothing in this, these ruins otherwise. Weird. Okay, let me go up here then, to this, uh, oh wait, just, uh, hey, it's Rottweifu. What's up? Ah, oh, we meet again. <laughs> in truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, I'm she's passed into the. Cool. I'm surprised she hasn't changed her fucking clothes. Like, it, like, looks... I don't know if it's scarlet rot that's on the clothes, but it looks like just bloodied fucking clothing. Oh, shit, I think I can actually level up. Didn't notice that I've gained, like, quite a lot of, uh... Oh, no, I can't, actually. I need, like, 3,000. Um, whatever, let's just use this one, should be fine. Let's drink some coffee. Rest at sight of grace. Yes, please. Um, so I'll put one more point into this, and then I think after that, I don't know, I'll just play it by ear, I guess. Okay, so she wants, uh, oh shit, I turned it off, she wants an arm, prosthetic or whatever, so I actually need to, uh, but it marks where she is though, so I don't need to worry about that, let me activate this thing just to see where it points to, and then I want to go get the map actually. Beast-eye quivers. Oh, there's a boat there. Cool. I think I actually have one of these. Um, oh, should have suck up there somewhere. Tibia Mariner. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Can I kill this thing? Holy shit, I forgot tank here it is. So I don't get anything from it, it's just an illusion. Just now, if I remember. Yeah, that's a bit of. Oh, so all of these things are like still alive. Uh... 
I wonder if this OV butt slam type thing will actually kill them and just straight out. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't deal holy damage. Or maybe it does, but it doesn't do the sacred blade thing. Where it's like literally that they can't resurrect after getting damaged by it. Okay, so there's a cave somewhere up there. If there's any sort of whatever you call it, like chests, like hidden chests over here. I don't know if these look like like they should have a, uh, maybe over here. like it should have uh, this looks, looks like more important Stormhawk feathers oh shit I was like smacking here because of the bones with being there but I saw the soul or whatever was slightly further up miss don't see like any specific area here that looks like it could be a secret type entrance because usually it's like on the brick type paving stuff they don't, none of these look like they're big enough like all of them like maybe it's like just further up if there is a sort of path with like a chest or whatever Maybe there literally just is no chest type thing here. Could also be the entrance to the dungeon where that uh, statue thing is pointing to. See, there's a church type thing up there. Maybe. Oh, actually, maybe it does. Maybe here. Oh, wait, here's one here. Ah, fuck that. Keep forgetting that he does that the move when, the, when you roll, it does that sort of down smack thing. Because I'm so used to like doing like a lunge or whatever on with this Y under. Cool, so what's this? Probably just a chest. Oh. Oh, that's funny, it's like it actually smacked him back a little bit.
Pearl Drake Talisman plus one. I don't think I even have a Pearl Drake Talisman. So what does this do? Greatly boosts non-physical damage negation. Um, oh, okay, so it says the same thing as the... Okay, cool. That's actually quite good. If there's like a magic enemy, I'll use that. Okay, so it does point this way, so I guess it's up here somewhere. There's still like a church thing up here as well. I actually need to go to the death root guide to do too because I think I've got like two death roots since I've last been back. Not sure how many you need to complete your sort of quest line. I think on my first playthrough I didn't complete his quest line, if I remember correctly. Oh, weird. I thought maybe there'd be a statue of like America or something. Guess not. Guess I was down there. Oh shit, there's like a big drop here. Oh, is this the... Oh, fuck, it's like so hidden in the darkness. Cool, let's go in here. Windham Catacombs. Alright. It's like I like this weapon, but I think it's... The ability is too slow. And that's the same thing I felt with the God Slayer um, Greatsword. The ability is like just much too slow. Oh shit. Oh cool, lightning bolts. I am a fan. Yeah, well, this elevator goes down very far. Oh shit, there's a... There's a ledge up there. Ghost glove four five. I'll probably be over leveled for this area too. Can I go down here? No, that's like certain death. Oh wait. Is this an enemy? Oh, no? Doesn't... Oh, shit. Oh, I see. Oh, shit, he actually got me. Oh, yeah. Definitely, I, like, over-leveled here. I guess that's just the common problem. <laughs> Try and do all the things. Well, it's weird that these try and throw these grenades mostly. Oh, it's like a narrow passage. from the top, cool. Okay, 
I'm not gonna kill all these. They're like too tedious. See, there's a dude at the back. I think they also respawn though. Oh, I see. It's like a knight of sorts. Oh shit. Uh, I've killed one of these before. Well, there was one by Ronnie's uh, tower or whatever. Leonia Divine Tower. You get like the lightning prayer book by him. I think I killed it in the last like, recording. Uh, I saw the... Oh shit. Is this actually... Just a dead... No, no, it's not a dead end. Scorpion Charm. Okay, I've got a holy one, so I guess I... Oh! Wait, did I... Did I take off my... What? When did I do that? That's so weird, I wonder why I took it off. Um, okay, so where's the lightning? I guess it does the same thing, yeah. Talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen, patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of his exoskeleton. Its claws seizing the heart that sparks with lightning. Raises lightning attack power, lowers damage negation. Yeah, so I had the holy one for quite a long time. You got it like very early on in the game. But uh, yeah, now I've got the lightning one too. Cool. Wow, look at these creepy masks. I guess it's like a patches <laughs> looking thing. Oh shit. I didn't realize there was an elevator. Can I go down actually? Yes, I can. Um, so how does this one work? Looks like I could go get up there, but I might have to take some damage. Maybe if I run and jump, and then quickly run and jump again. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Dude, his run up is so crazy. He like ran for such a long time. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like there's more. No? Maybe above me? Like this seems too suspicious. That was a pretty good uh, charge up. Definitely helps to have like a decent amount of poise. I think my poise is not super high, but I am wearing like some of the heaviest stuff I can wear. Okay, so this was the door, but I also need to check what's down if I go down the elevator here. How's this is gonna how's this gonna work? Oh I see there's a dude on the other side too. Might have to jump across like this. I guess I could jump down and then roll in. And then jump down here. This is probably to get to the other side of that gate that was locked. See, there's a trap there. That's a lot of damage. Wow. It's funny that these things are so slow, but when they do get you, they, they really like chomp you. No oh, fuck. That's a crab. Two crabs. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 1. I feel like I've had some, I might have had some of those cookbooks before, but 
Can I open the door on this side? Where's the lever? Oh, there. This was not a very big dungeon, so I guess it's not. I guess it's not that far back. Just looking and see if there's any secret uh, doors up there. Oh, is it really this far back? Let's see. I don't actually think it is. Uh, I think I'm going too far back now. I think I need to actually go the other way. Let, let me just see. Oh my gosh, I got bloody up. Oh no, you do have to go. No, it should. Okay, cool. Let's see what's behind door number one. Tree burial. Oh, it's a lightning one. So, what does that do? I feel like I'm gonna cruise through this like area. Because everything here is like obviously much lower level than me. Ford Pickers belt bearing one. Cool. I wonder if we get the lightning whetstone because I haven't gotten. Because obviously this area seems to be heavy, like lightning influenced or whatever. Let me see how much. Uh, so I need like 10,000. Might be able to get 10,000. Yeah, just two of these. Ah, oh, I wasn't touching the grace. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know what to level up anymore. This takes my HP up by 26, it seems. Like, maybe that's what I need. I don't think I need damage. Could level up strength. But I don't, that doesn't really take up all my stats anymore. Faith takes my damage up more, I think, but yeah, let me just go figure, I guess. Take it to like 45 and then see what happens after that. Okay, so I got that now. I'm gonna actually get this. So it might be good for me to just teleport here and then run from there. Just drinking some coffee. I wonder how many like seeds I need to get like a flask upgrade now because Like, I think I've gotten two now. It's gonna kind of run through here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it makes sense why they're up here. So you can, like, because you can run from that way. Oh, there's a dude on a knight on a horse. There was a guy on a horse. <laughs> Stomped. This 
weapon's not as good to fight. Uh, oh shit, this guy deals a lot of damage. It's not as good to fight multiple enemies, I think. Because it like smacks, it just smacks uh, kind of like in a straight line. Golden Great Shield. Brass Shield. So that's like the first time I've picked up these shields, interesting. Okay, so that's just a shit shield. Um, where's the golden one? Knights of Lindell are reputed for their sturdiness, exemplified by the shield's exceptional guard capacity. Oval great shield made of gold carried by knights who protect the royal capital of Lindell. It's very cool looking. I'm not a shield wielder. But this. There are like a lot of cool looking shields in the game. When I played the game first, uh, I did try like to play with a shield, but it because of the guard counter that they've added in this. So I thought, oh, like that could be cool, like just you know. But on lower levels, I think you have not enough stamina to make it work. I don't know. And the guard counters feel very slow. You can get interrupted like while like busy doing the animation which I didn't like so it just didn't fit with my sort of playstyle I think turtle neck meat I thought there would be a merchant here maybe this was a merchant at some point is that in the distance there is that where I came from uh yeah it must be okay so that's the dictus uh whatever you call it Elevator. Oh shit, what am I doing? Okay, where is this? Oh, there it is. I wanted to get the map so I can see if I'm missing like any sort of caves and shit. Oh, it's like a omen. Two omens. Actually, it's three omens, it's probably back there too. so strong now, are we? Okay, never mind. Oh, he's actually, he's, he's got... I see he has the axe that is in the blacksmith dudes, like, on the floor by round table hold. Perfume bottle. It's like I struggled with these dudes um, when I was in some dungeon quite far back now. No, it's like they're not even as good anymore. But obviously I'm much too high level here, I think. Oh, there we go, the warped axe. That's the... Let's see... Standard axe. Oversized double-headed axe with a bizarre, almost melted appearance. Brute strength is the only thing required to wield this weapon, <laughs> which appears to have taken quite the beating itself. 24 strings, yeah. I mean, that's basically how I'm playing anyway. It's like Unga Bunga Smash, right? Which is a. Uh, it's a legitimate strategy, okay? <laughs> okay, cool, here's the map. I'll just let to. Oh, I didn't see... This actually, like, did a flashy, like, light-up type thing. Maybe I'm mistaken, but that's what it looked like. Okay, I can get uh, rid of this. Okay, let's see, where have I been? Oh, so I haven't even found the map here. Where it was just now. What's this? Finger Reader Crone. So let me mark that. See, so there's a cave there. So there's some random thing here. Ruins or something here. Ruins over here. Let me mark all these fucking spots. Oh, and there's a, one of these jail thing looking things. It might be a tower. Okay, so let's see. What's the closest? 
So I can go down here, or I can go up here. And then there's a giant road type thing here too. Let me go down here first, just to see. This feels like it's the closest. Uh, there's big statues in the background there. And some pink flowers. Is that a dog over there? Uh, it is one of those mage towers, I see. Oh, there's a windmill in the background there. Oh, there's a bunch of windmill in the background there. Windmills. <laughs> oh, there's a history sword. The first defense of Lindell. The sovereign alliance rots from within. Traces yet remain of bloody conspiracy. Oh. Not sure what that means. I don't know if that means Melania tried to assault the capital after her like war with Radon or some shit. Maybe she tried to take over. Or maybe I'm completely full of shit and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um how the fuck do I get down here? I see I can go down here too. Now I'm not sure if that, that seems to be a completely different, that's like even further down than where I wanted to go. Roll away sheep. Uh, I could probably just jump down here, it doesn't look very high. That's a graveyard, oh it's a church. Cool, is this, is this another, uh... oh it's this dude. Seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please, Eleonora. Yield to the cisplant no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Oh, he died. The fuck? Nagakiba. Invaded by Bloody Finger Eleonora. Um, what's my. Oh, Jesus. She's got some dragon powers. Violet Bloody Finger. And some fancy moves. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm obviously stronger. Cool. Good job. Purifying crystal tear. That's a key item. And Eleonora's pole blade. That's cool. I've never done this, so I don't know what the deal is. I thought this guy was the Shribriri Riri guy that you, he invades you later on, but maybe I'm fucking wrong, maybe it's not, maybe it's a different guy. Like maybe this guy is literally just someone else of the dragon like hunter dudes. Oh, let me read all the crap what I picked up, so. Oh, what the fuck, where the fuck does the dog come from? Fuck off weird dog. Sacred tear, nice. It's like I'm busy here. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of the roses for the blood blood dude. Lord of blood. I am a king. Lord of blood. Ta 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 ta. Can't actually remember what he says. I think he says in the heel or something. I wanted to get a waypoint type thing, but it doesn't look like this church has one. So it's like the first time I've completed this guy's quest. I think it's because I missed him at uh, 
at uh, what is the place called? Rail Acaria. I didn't know you could run through the the sort of sealed off gates once you've teleported through. I didn't know you could just run through those. And then I missed him completely my first playthrough. Okay, so I got two weapons. One was like a katana type thing. Okay, so this is the one. Twin Naginata forged in the land of reeds. Chosen weapon of Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Her mastery of the sword was such that her ons onslaught was likened to a whirlwind. But now her legacy is stained by cursed blood. Okay. And then the other one is... Nagakiba. And I'm not sure what that symbol is there. It causes blood loss. Is that a... No, but this is something different. So this is something... Equipped, I don't know what it has equipped to it. Naga Kiba. Katana with a ferocious, ferociously long blade. Signature weapon of Yura, Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Yeah, see, so this guy's Yura. He's not he's not the same as Shribriri, as far as I can tell. Reminiscent of a reinforced spear, its imposing length can be put to good use with powerful thrusting attacks. It looks fucking cool. I like, I like how it looks. There's a lot of cool like katana type weapons in this game. I think if I ever, you know, I might, if I do another playthrough, I might play with like a katana type weapon, because I think they look, they seem to be pretty cool. Piercing fang, skill used by Yura, the bloody finger hunter. Starting with the blade held horizontally, make a powerful thrust that cannot be blocked. That's cool. Is that what that means? It cannot be blocked. Because look, this has the same symbol. Like, what does that mean? Signature weapon of Sorcerer Roger. Signature weapon. Oh, maybe they're signature weapons? Oh, no, wait. It might be... Oh, uh, no, man. It's, it's because... I think it's because it's a dexterity imbued weapon. I think that's what the deal is. Because look, my Swyander's got the holy imbued. I think that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, and this great sword's got the heavy one. Yeah, I guess it's been imbued. That's, I think, what it's about. And then I got some sort of key as well, like a burning eye thing. Oh, I see it's a it's a potion thing. Purifies the Lord of Blood's curse in mixed physic. Oh, that's very cool. So if I fight Mogwen or whatever, I can get rid of his bullshit where he drains your HP probably. A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Can be mixed into the Flask of Wondrous Physic. The resulting concoction purifies the curse of Mog. Lord of Blood's terrifying rite of blood. Uh, wait, so Mog is something different. That's, I think, you fight him if you go down the sewer and the capital, if I remember correctly. But I'm not sure if Mogwin is the same dude. Or if they are brothers or some shit. I don't know. There's too many NPCs with too many names. It's like the fucking Curse of George R. R. Martin. It's like there's a Godwin, a Godric, and a uh, Godfrey. <laughs> and they all might be related as well, so it's like just... It's like, calm down. Um, okay, so I found that. And this must be this thing here. This is just a graveyard. Yeah, so I've, now I've completed that guy's quest line, I guess. Oh, I see the, the tower disappeared. 
like invisible now. Ah, oh, there's a wind. wind jumpy thing. Where does this go? So this goes down here. There's some sort of poison shit here. Guess I can just jump down here. Looks like there's a troll over there. Oh, there's a troll over here as well. This one's got a chain on it, so I wonder if there's a... Uh, if there's one of those uh, carry carriages. Wow, two shots to knock it down. That's a decent amount of experience, actually. That in the background, so just a goat. Uh, it's one of those mist caller fell dudes. Oh, fuck, I thought he was dead, man. <laughs> it's like I smacked him, and then I was like, oh, yes, he's obviously dead, but no, it's. And his horse kicked me. So it's like a poison swamp type thing, yeah. No, it's the roly poly sheep. Nascent butterfly. Oh, there's a tortoise here. I wonder why. We heard. Might have been up there already. Yes, I have. I don't see the thing. Oh, it's a crab. Blood blade, natural four. Boom. So there's like a mix of like blood and lightning type stuff here, it seems. So I guess the Lord of Blood is prominent in this area as well. Try and find if there's any caves here, but I guess there wouldn't be another cave so close to the other one. Okay, well, let's see what's this way, because I think the other way is. I've been to the other way already. Oh, there is a cave over there. Oh, it's one of the gargoyle caves. I need to actually remember that right at the start of the game there's also a cave there that's a gargoyle. Or dungeon, or whatever you call it. This actually looks like a... a mine of sorts. Tunnel. Explosive stone clamp. Okay. Well, let's go down. Let's see what's down below. Oh shit, there's a. There's a thing up there. Well, let me see if I struggle to get this motherfucking thing again. I think I can just jump down, like if. Yeah, I can jump down here. I figured that out last time when I was like stuck at one of these things. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> yeah. Best to forget. Like a drop of death if I go down here. Okay, so this one's got cracked crystals, explosives, flamethrower dude. Dog. 
Okay, smithing stone 5, so this is quite a low one, because I think I'm on smithing stone 6, or maybe 7 even. Actually, I think I'm 6, I think I'm stuck on 6. So I haven't found many 6 stones for a while. See, I can go down there as well. There's a item down there. I find it so easy to get like lost in these mines. Corner in six. Smithing stamp five. Okay. Guess I could also fall down there. See this at night. Did he kill that guy? No, maybe not. But if I fall down here, the problem is how do I How do I get back up? Let's see what's up here first before I decide. Maybe I can go down there from another angle. Or maybe I literally have to fall down there. Staunching bosses. Hear a dog behind me. No? Where is it? Oh, no, there's one there. Bolt Drake Talisman. Okay, cool. Plus one one. I think that's for lightning damage. Negation. Okay, no, so this is just. No, okay, wait, no. Maybe I'm wrong. No, yes, I am. I'm right. This was just a separate cave, so I do have to fall down here, I guess. I don't even know what these cracked crystals do. I should actually check. And so this knight actually hurt me, I think. Because he wasn't moving around before. Dog smack. Troll's hammer. Oh, he actually got me. I had a some. I think I've have, have a similar weapon to that troll's hammer already, but it was an earth tree. Dog's one. No. What do you call it? This thing. Oh, it is very similar. Look. Oh, the Troll's Hammer has a faith, it's a faith weapon. Interesting. Mining tool of stone digger trolls used to crack bedrock. Trolls are descended from the giants, and these were supposedly once used in, as ceremonial smithing tools. In a distant past, smithing was considered divine. Oh, cool. Oh, here's a dude here. But also, I saw there's a smithing stone over here. But I was like getting lost now as well. I was like, which way did I come in from? But I actually fall down there. Oh, there's a ladder here, man. So I can get back up there. I just didn't notice the ladder before. Smack. Okay, so I can go this way. Let me just see what's this way too, because I saw there was a path this way. This looks like like something would have fall down. Surprised it didn't fall down. I 
I guess that was a summersmithing stand. For this weapon I need like the final one, the dragon somber smithing stone or whatever. Oh, so it's just the boss. Stone digger troll, okay cool. Let me break all these things. Oh, I see he actually has the smithing hammer. It's very weak, okay. Yosos. <laughs> Uber damage. Oh, cool, I got a great club from him. So that's like... I thought I would get the... Oh, so I'm getting a lot of these colossal weapons. An enormous club of hard wood. Wildly hammering foes with the striking weapon requires no dexterity, only brute force. While it may seem sacrilegious, this weapon is said to be a withered branch of the earth tree, imbued with holy power. This weapon will never snap. <laughs> okay. Golden land. Thrust armament into the ground, then gather strength to unleash a blast of sacred energy that coalesces into golden darts. Oh, it's the thing that the, the earth tree avatar dudes do. Follow up with a strong attack to swing the armament in a sweeping strike, that's cool. But it doesn't need faith at all, but I see it actually scales with faith. But with like an E scaling. And it does early damage, that's so strange. Just like, needs a lot of strength. Very weird. It's very interesting. Okay, cool, so it wasn't a very big cave, it's nice. I find this so weird that they don't teleport you straight to the bonfire. Like, I don't know, it just, it just feels weird. Because now it's like if I wanted to go back, I'd have to go back into the cave. Um, I don't know, it just feels like very kind of like a weird design choice. So what's up here? I do need to go to these points I've marked. But I saw there was some sort of uh, swamp thing here, so I wanted to see what that's about. Oh, it's like a castle. That's cool. Oh. Okay, well, let's go there then. <laughs> Sidetracked. It's the name of the game. It's set in the distance. Looks like a flower. It's like a leeches. If I fall... No, no, I can get back up. Surprised there's no... Oh, uh, there's Grace over there inside the castle. Her tree flower. Is there a cave here? No. So I guess this is poison. Poison grease, yeah, I mean, that sounds like poison. So where's the entrance? Let's see. Oh, I might be able to get up here, actually. Oh, no, they threw me off my horse, motherfuckers. Okay, so I can't get up here. What's this about? That's so weird, I wonder why... Is that like an invisible thing here? No? I'm not gonna fight this thing, it's like always takes so long to kill it. So let's see if there's any sort of anything else over here. What is this? Look at this. It's like a field of just of statues. 
Oh, there's a fucking golem over there. Dylan. I didn't see this thing at all. Where the fuck did this come from? So this is like a random, it's not an invasion, but it is a... It is an, uh, uh, an enemy of sorts. I guess it's a perfumer of something? And Spur Rapier. Marais. Mask. And Robe. I'll re oh, Jesus. Almost ran off the edge. Yum. <laughs> I didn't expect the backswing. Okay, yeah, so I need to remember to read that uh, the lore stuff for that. So I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh my god. Maybe it's like one of the main perfumer people who owns the castle or something. Or just watches after this castle. all equipment rights. So the one was like a rapier. This one, and spur rapier. Spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. Oh, so it's the stinger that's behind the ant. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Oh, cool. So it's another scarlet rot weapon. Scarlet rot is an old legend of which Malay Marais of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Okay, cool. Impelling thrust. Skill that this... Okay, so it's just a mad slash. Okay, let's see what his helmet looks like. I thought it was a woman, honestly. Marais mask. Mask in the image of a white-haired young noble. Customarily worn by the head of House Marais. Increase arcane. The Marais family has a dual history spanning generations, serving as both executioners and castellans of the Shaded Castle. This mosque bears the likeness of the first line, uh, first of their line, sorry. Okay, cool. And then I guess the robe says a similar thing. The sons of House Marais are all sickly born. Little wonder that M Malay Marais would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into a rot. Robe with a black mantle across the shoulders, customarily worn by head of House Marais. Okay, cool. So they're like, a, they're like basically fanboys of... Um, well, this guy is a fanboy of like Melania. Head of the like fan club. Okay, cool. I don't think I found this guy like last time at all, honestly. From what I can remember, I don't remember. There's like a star capturing thing over there as well. Let's see. But now I've got so many of these stars that I don't need them anymore. The Shaded Castle. So this is that dude's castle. And he's all about poison. So I guess he went down the Einsel River just to get like a river well or whatever. Just to get like a stinger of an ant so he could make a rapier for himself. Um, can I get up here? Yes I can. Okay, cool. Well that's how you get in here, I guess. Nice. Uh, is this an enemy? 
It is an enemy. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I guess these are all like Scarlet Rod zombies. Is he, what the fuck? So I see I can jump down there, but oh, fuck, it's a poison thing. I wanted to get the waypoint before I like, keep going deeper into this. So maybe I went in the wrong way now. Neutralizing policies. Can I jump on this? I think I should leave this area and rather go around so I can get in where the where I saw the the thing, the it's like on that side somewhere there was a Ugh, what is the fucking thing called? <laughs> My brain is like frying. Um, it's the sign of grace, one fire. Because I saw one over here, on the opposite direction. So I guess that's where you have to go in, instead of where I, I went in. I saw there was a... Statue of America there as well. Oh uh, yeah, yes, over here. Like this looks like... Yes, because there's a grace there. Oh, these things are actually quite tanky. Because look how much damage I'm dealing. And I'm not one-shotting them. Poison Bloom. Is that my first Poison Bloom I found? I think it is. I haven't like been reading all the lore stuff as I picked up stuff. No, it's not my first Poison Bloom. I wonder why it showed up then. Flower that grows in toxic terrain. Material used for crafting. Dripping with a deep green poisonous liquid. Hmm. Fancy. So when I started playing, I didn't read all the lore and stuff because I was like, eh... I'm not really a fan of reading, like, out loud. But uh, I do like reading the... just all the stuff to try and get involved with, like, the game and stuff. So I've decided just to fucking read the stuff when I pick it up. Some of the stuff I won't read because not everything has, like, lore... type... Uh, crap attached to it, but uh, I am trying. Uh, 5,000. I think 5,000 would be enough. Not sure how long I've been playing. I need to actually check. Oh, cool. I can upgrade my the amount of my flask. Rank 8 flask now. So that was my figure more. So I can go down here. That seems to be the only way I can go, actually. Oh wait, no, I can go this way as well. Oh, there's a perfumer type dude. I think. I think these are perfumers. Which are like alchemists from the from Lendell, who started out as healers but uh, ended up becoming obsessed with poison or some shit. I can't remember all the stuff. So I guess I guess because the Maria guy is so obsessed with the Scarlet Rods. Oh Jesus, that doesn't take damage. I guess I don't have a lot of fire resistance. Prave Perfumer Robe, there we go, and I can actually... Robe worn by depraved perfumers. The embroidery on the apron itself, a curse upon the earth tree, is itself a curse upon the earth tree. Cool. 
These heresy inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. Okay, so they're like junkies. <laughs> junkies of millennia. Uh, I can get down here, but... What about over there? I see I can go up there. There's some slugs here. Lots of zombies, blush shards, poison dagger. I think I can ignore most of these dudes. Oh no, can I not? No, I can't, I, I can't crawl underneath here. Oh, there's a painting there. Fuck. Can I get it though? How do I get it? Might have to like try jump over like this, right? No, but it didn't work. Oh, there we go. Cool. I've only found one of these painting like locations so far, but I haven't really been searching for it. I mean, this one's obviously in the Altus Plateau somewhere. So here's a statue, and then the mountains in the background. Champion song painting. Right. I wonder who the champion is. So we are the champions of the world. Cool, so I've gone this way, and I can go down that ladder. We are the champions, my friends. We'll keep on fighting to the end. Jump down the ladder. I see there's also a place I could have jumped down there, actually. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, it's these fuckers with the bells. I mean, I've been to the rot, like, lake of rot. This, this does not scare me. <laughs> it's like, your puny poison is no match for my, like, the lots of the rot I've, like, breathed in. I saw there was something up up here. Okay. No, it doesn't look like it. I can actually get up here. Looked like there was something up there. Maybe I need to fall down. Oh, you are there. Look, there's an item there. Poison slugs. So I guess I need to jump down from there somewhere to get whatever the fuck that is. I wonder if that's like even worth it. Let me try it once. No, I, I don't know if that's actually the same wall that I can get to, though. That's over there. So maybe. Might be able to get there. Like if I can jump onto this wall here, maybe get up there, the mountain here. Uh, maybe over here. doesn't look... I don't think I can make that jump. I don't know if I have to run into the tree, maybe? Huh. 
I think what I'll do is I'll just jump over here, just back into the swamp. Maybe... Maybe I can jump up there. Uh, but I can't... I can't get higher than this though. Yeah, no, I can't. It was a little bit of a... Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe... Oh, shit. Yes, maybe... Oh, fuck. So close. Uh, there we go. Oh, stone sword key. Cool. Don't know if that's worth it, because I have like 10 or 12 or something already, so... So I think there's way more stone sword keys available than the actual dungeons. Just so you don't like miss any of the stuff. I like this music and it's like so like melancholy too. Looked like a door that could be like illusion. So there's a way there, and then there's a path up here. I guess this is just like a little bit of a yeah, side thing. Something down here? No. Oh shit, there's even a path there. This is quite a big castle actually. So I can jump through here, but then, oh fuck, and these stupid basilisks. Uh, let me check this side out first. I see there's even a ladder up there though. Fuck. So I'm actually not sure if... Let me mark over here, just as like an alternate path, and then we'll go this way first. Oh, shit. These dudes do a lot of damage. <laughs> Fucking smack the shit out of him. Wow. Oh, and I can get up here as well. Is this the alternative way I could get in? No. Not yet, it seems. Let's go run past this dude. Ah, uh, you motherfucker. You can interrupt them like quite easily just by like rolling into them. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so that's just the way to jump off here. Yeah. I think uh, I don't even see this guy. Because uh, there's nothing here really except for the smithing stone. 
go. Let's go back. Is this? No, I thought it was like the blood rose things. I'm curious to see if my Zwyander does more damage than this weapon. So I think I'll swap back to the Zwyander if I get any sort of lightning affinity. Is this the other path I could get into? Yes it is. Okay. Okay, but then here at the back there was like a see a different path I think as well. And that was actually pretty good. I didn't even know there were three of them there. I thought there was only two. Okay, so then I need to I think this is just an extra path here. I should uh, this is the Scarlet Rot. This is a Scarlet Rot one. Uh, no, I fucking failed the, the thing. Smithing Stone 5. <laughs> it's definitely not what I wanted to do. I'm just trying to kill this fucking thing before... Oh, fuck off. Around the flower. So the worm shit they, that they vomit on the floor actually damage you like acid. Okay, well now I'm poisoned already anyway, so it's... Might as well just run through the poison. I guess I was that the only thing that was here, just like the smithing stone. Looks like it actually. Okay. Um, I could probably use one of these. I only have four, but I should be able to make like quite a bunch of them. Big dick damage. Oh no, just fucking thing. Just die. <laughs> like, I feel like no matter what level you are, this type of thing will fuck me up. Like, whatever level I am. Because it's like, once it starts attacking me, it's like I never know when to dodge and stuff. It's just an awkward enemy for me to fight. I think it's the worst enemy for me in the game. Like, to the thing I struggle with the most. Um, I did struggle with the, the, the knights, I can't remember what they're called, they're like the dragon knights or whatever, like angel knights, I did struggle with those as well, but uh, now I don't seem to struggle with them as much, so it's like weird, oh wait, there's an item, oh, but that, I haven't gone that way, no, this actually seems like the way I'm supposed to go, so maybe I should go that way first. Toxic mushroom. Doesn't look like there's any waypoints here. That I can see. There's nothing here. Huh. Okay, so this is where I came from. Let me go this way first, back down to go to the old 
that alternative route over there. Because I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to be going. And this is just to get, like, items. I guess he was just kind of in the poison water. Golden Rune 6. Smithing stone. Oh shit, this is one of those slow moving poison. Uh, Christ. Like, these things are not difficult if you can, like, just kind of avoid their toxic gas stuff. But at the same time, they just, they can kill you so quickly if you just, if they get you, uh, like, sort of unawares or whatever. Like, I've died many times just from them because of the fucking... Dark Souls 1 was the worst ones, I think. I don't know about uh, Demon Souls, I never played Demon Souls, but... Uh, the getting your HP cut in half was just very punishing, I think. Like, it felt like one of the most punishing mechanics that they FromSoft have had introduced, in my opinion. Because it's like the game was already, like, difficult. And then you die and, like, you, then you had to go and try find a way to get your like half your HP back, which was just so just demoralizing, honestly. So on one end, I'm like sad that they got rid of the that sort of curse mechanic, but on the other hand, I'm like uh, maybe it wasn't a very fun mechanic to deal with. Like on an art. RPG sort of perspective, I think it was good. But yeah, from a gameplay perspective, I think it felt bad. It was like just very punishing. So it was, that was just a alternate route there. So like, not alternate, whatever you call it. Some extra shit. So let's go this way. Uh, thank fuck, it's not dark anymore. Like the darkness was getting a bit annoying. Fucking knew it. <laughs> I was like, that looks like a like somewhere one of these motherfuckers will be, and it was too. Uh, I fucking see you there. I try my bullshit twice. <laughs> fucking asshole. Gloss shard. Okay. Oh wait, do you know you see? Could I go in there? No, I don't think I can. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a clean rot night. Oh fuck, man! I'm trying to lock onto it. I like the armor, like uh, of this um, clean rot knights. They don't look as cool on on the player because the player is like shorter and stuff. Uh, look at those. More of the statues that's like outside. Okay, let me see what's behind chest number one. Valkyrie's prosthesis. Uh, so this is the thing I need for medicine. Cool. Okay. 
cool. Golden tethering tools. Allows demigod garb alterations at the site of grace. Oh, cool. I never did this other guy's sewing needle type dude, the rat thing that you find like way back in Limgrave. I never did his uh, quest line. Golden prosthesis once used by the one armed Valkyrie. A masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill, it can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Malay Marais, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Okay. So I guess Melania was a Valkyrie of sorts. Who knows? Oh shit. I wanted to look down there, but then I was like, oh no, I've, I have gone that way. That's where I fought that giant uh, rose thing. I see this enemy, so I do have to actually jump down here. Wait, but there's an item up there. Oh, fuck. How do I get that? Huh. There must be a ladder or something. Oh, there's one of those ghost horse dudes. This castle's quite big, actually. It's like, I feel like they're not giving me a sight. I need a sight of grace because it feels a little bit punishing. If I wasn't so over leveled, I think this would have been quite difficult. Like, if I'd come here a much earlier level, it would have just felt punishing, I think. See, there's an item there. I wanted to jump across here to see if there's anything behind her. Uh, nope. What's up here? Ah, oh, cool, there's actually an item up here. Nice, golden rune. Oh, here's a sign of grace here, nice. This is like a weird alternative path. Okay, let me rest so I can just restore my... ...stuff. So I need to remember to go to Millicent... ...after this, just to give her the, the arm, I guess. Oh, so here's the ladder here, I see. So I can descend. Probably just jump down, let's see. Let's try not this guy. Oh, uh, it's the fucking slowing poison, man. Oh my god. <laughs> That's frustrating. <laughs> It's like the swamp water. Ugh. Come on. Oh, he did die. Okay, cool. I was worried he would have not have died. I oh, see. That's how I get that item up there. I think that's why Blight Town was like worse than what it actually was, was literally just because of the slow swamp type water type shit. It made it felt feel like a lot worse, I think, because of that. Is this a... Oh. I guess I just sunk into the swamp. I think I'm just gonna ignore this poison because it's not doing me that much damage. Okay, let me go up here. Now I've at least found a sight of grace, the sign of sight of grace. So I can get so it doesn't matter if I die as much. I haven't been getting many runes, but I think my level doesn't need to go up for a while. Oops. I died from one of these things at uh, the Actually I don't know if I did. But there was an op in, there was one at the Albanoric village. And he dealt me a ton of damage. Might have died, I can't remember. Perfume bottle. Got in a few of these. 
So that's the item that was up here, and then I could jump down here to get that. Okay, cool. So that's the only thing that's up here. Let me actually read the perfume bottle because I haven't read it. Glass bottles used by perfumers use the Silverian scent compounds. The art of perfuming was once jealously guarded in the capital, but after the perfumers were drafted into service during the shattering, the art became widely practiced throughout the lands between. Okay, cool. So it's like a faction, but it's also, I guess, there's been many sort of side factions and stuff of people that are just get into it. Does so much damage, crazy. Depraved perfumer trousers. Probably says the same thing as the chest item did. Alright, so I found everything here. See, I can jump down there. And then there's also an item at the back there, so let me get the item at the back. Whee! Ladder sliding. The new craze. <laughs> Fuck six. Let me get out of this so I can just run on the rocks. It's like way too slow to run on this uh, stuff. I feel like I've got in everything here now. I don't think there's anything else. So I can probably just go up the ladder there. Let me just also check through here. There's a flower, but... So what's up here? As far as I could tell, there was nothing here except these two dudes. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's anything this way. Okay, so the waypoint's like over there, up the ladder. And there was a path I could go there too. Doesn't look like he's attacking me. So I wonder if I could actually sneak up on him and just smack him in the head. Hmm. Uh, no, I can't jump up here. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe if I use the fat jump. Oh wow, well, it actually works. Oh, but now this thing can see me. Oh no. Let me kill this thing first. Um, I might be fucking myself over here. It's like such bullshit attacks. It's like these charge attacks are so annoying to just deal with. Yeah, fucking die. Just terrible enemies. I don't like anything that can like repeatedly like charge you and sort of knock you down. Like, those are the worst enemies, I think, in any type of Souls, Souls games. Like, at least for me, I, I don't like anything that rushes me down continuously. Um, I'm sure there are people that love that type of style, but, uh, you yeah, know, it's really just... It's like my, sort of, the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's that, that type of enemy. 
Oh, so there's nothing here. So she's just that, like, bullshit anyway. So I had to go actually this way. So it's like you could skip this whole sort of section just by kind of going over the, the ceiling or the roof. So that's cool. Um, there's nothing here either. No. Okay, let me just replenish my potion. Let's go this way. Right, let's see. These things aren't like alive, right? No. So I can go up there. I guess a ghost. I'm usually not a fan of the dogs either, they're kind of, kind of similar. House Marie is ruined. Just desserts for falling for that severed harpy. No surprise the guilty cretin took the castle and our storied sword. Okay. Is the severed harpy is, is that like supposed to be millennia? I wonder. Maybe it's something else. I guess we'll see. I wonder what's up with these statues. Or if they're just like all petrified. Maybe the dude was a sculptor. Uh, it's like a sir with a sword. This one is... Uh, no, that's just the blood of the thing I just killed. I'm just hitting them because I feel like maybe some of them might be like alive. Oh, uh, should I see this? Uh, I think this one was called a page. But maybe they're not all the same. So there's a ladder here, so I can go up here, and then I can also go through here, let's see. This one has flowers over here. Hefty beast bone. Oh, I see there's a scarlet rot knight. Oopsie. Dropping the armor. I think I'm wearing the gloves already. No, let me go up the ladder first, because I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. Oh shit, my HP is actually quite low, I didn't even notice that. The parent die around me. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfumer's cookbook. Okay. It's down here. Death. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's go down here. I think on my first playthrough I actually farmed these, uh, these rock knights to try to get their armor. Because I thought it looked cool. See, there's a moving thing over here. So what the fuck? Gold firefly. Needs 
be careful of these guys, they do a ton of damage. I do like my little dragon helm though. Let's see which one's better. Stats wise, my one seems to be better. It does give more pierce resistance, but uh, more immunity by far, I think. Winged helm of the Clean Rot Knight, celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the Shattering. The Clean Rot Knights vowed to fight alongside Melania. Despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefaction of their flesh, their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. So they're kind of like berserkers, right? Oh yeah, that looks kind of cool actually. Now I've got wings. <laughs> it's like a shinobi. Like a fairy, I guess, as well. <laughs> Wee. I'll try it out for now and see. I kind of like... I do like it though. I think it's cool. It's funny how you can't see inside. It's just like black. Okay. Why is this one like so separate from the rest of them? Like these other ones look like they're like dancing and stuff. Uh, it's a shortcut. Oh, I see it's down there. Okay, so the knight came from there. What's this? It's an elevator. Does it go down? No, it goes up. Uh, let me go down again then, in case I missed something. Uh, this is a boss. Yeah, okay, there's a possible. Let me go down first. Oh, I see there's an item there too, but I see there's also another dog. <laughs> yes, this. They're fucking smashed. <laughs> Bad dog. Oh wait, it's... Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm completely confused now. The knight actually did come from here. So what's this about? Why can't I jump down here? Oh, this is where the ladder was. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let me just go up then. I see there's a statue of America here anyway, so... Elmer of Briar. Oopsie. He blocked my attack. Shit. Oh 
shit. Maria's Executioner's Sword. Uh, and there's a painting of Melania. Yeah, like, I think if I was a little bit, le like, lower level, he would have, like, I would have struggled with this. Briar, Great Shield, and I got his sword, cool. Let's see what that's about. So he's got, like, cool moves and stuff. And very, he's very aggressive. Oh, it needs a lot of arcane, actually. Storied Sword of House Marais, the family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle, one of the legendary armaments. Elemer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter, snatched the sword from the site of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skills from his home of Eokad, Eokad's Dancing Blade. So I think I've read about this in another on another item. It does like a similar thing. Infuse the sword of energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deal damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase reach and duration of spin. It's a very cool looking sword. See it does magic damage. And then he also dropped the shield of sorts. Which seemed similar. This one. Briar Great Shield. And it causes blood buildup. I didn't actually see the sword might have caused blood buildup as well. Great Shield from the f a foreign land used by Elamir of the Briar. Attacks with the, this armament utilize the iron thorns that have been wound around its frame. Originates from Eokad. A land of proudly solitary ascetics. Okay, cool. I see there's a painting of Melania here. Might be able to level up. Yeah, I can gain one level. So the figure is definitely like started. It's over the soft cap or whatever le limit. But then I think my my figure is actually higher anyway. It's forty eight because of the Radagon scar seal thing. Yeah, cool. So I think this is this 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 is the whole. Yeah, this was the whole like area. So I want to go back to here just to give Millicent the Valkyrie arm. I wonder if I could have given it to her and then summon her in battle. Like I don't use summons generally, but I wonder if it would have been an option to like to summon her over there. I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the... There we go. Are you giving me this arm? <sighs> Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm... It might be perhaps the... Okay. I wonder if she's moving on from here if I rest, or if she'll just be there with Arm. Let's see. No, cause she... Oh no, she's still there, but let's see if she has put the Arm on. No, she hasn't. If the Arm... It might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Okay, cool. Okay, where would I go now? I guess I would go back there. Finger your crone. Then these things. I think I'm gonna stop here for now. So I feel like I've played quite a bit now. And then, yeah, next time I'll check out these places I've marked. But now it's also I can go this way here. 
And there's like a minor earth tree there. So there's like a lot of places here. And I see there's the windmill things over here at the back. So I'll probably explore most of this area. And then maybe go this way. Like, because there's a massive, like, chunk of area here as well. So there's, like, so much stuff to do still, like, in this area. So I'll probably be here for a while. I see there's ruins up there. What the fuck? Because I didn't get to those ruins, right? I only got to the bottom ones. Let me just check if I can get up here first. Maybe this is literally like just a pathway up here that I completely missed. Huh. No? Doesn't look like it. What's down here? Oh, I haven't been down there either. No, oh, go away. Yeah, I wonder how you get up there, because there's definitely, like, more shit up there, right? Huh. I suppose you have to just go around. But I feel like I've started on the other side. There must be a way to jump up. Because I think I came from this side, right? Huh. Oh. No, looks like I need to go up further this way actually. Maybe up here. Yeah, and then kind of go around. This is where I started though, maybe I have seen these ruins. Because I came from this deck, this like elevator here. No, I don't remember going up here. So this. There's a lot of these demi humans here. It's like the thing of like this game is man, it's so easy to miss these things. Because you go to like a set of ruins and you're like, oh yes, I've been there and then and then you go there again and or like It's just crazy. I guess that makes it very like replayable because you'll always find stuff that you've missed. Stained dagger. So now I'm wondering what's over here that oh, there's uh, one of these things. Uh, I see. It's one of these motherfuckers that teleport. It's like a bit of a cave here as well. Oh, yeah, it's like a boss. It's a boss cave, okay. Let me do this quick. It's, it's probably not, oh, what the fuck? It's one of these demi-humans. 
Queen Galgelica. <laughs> Death to the Queen. Oh, I thought I'd get something. Guess there's some like stuff in here. Uh, chest or whatever. Ritual sword talisman. Oh. What's that? Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. Oh wow. That's cool because I always try to keep my HP like high. A talisman patterned after swords used in ritual combat held to honor the earth tree. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radagon, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. Okay, cool. How much does it raise my... Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's... It's hard to tell, like, what... I guess I'd have to look at my status or something. To see if my damage was more or not. Okay, let me try to find this beetle as well. So now I don't know where the stupid beetle went. <laughs> so that's where I was. Huh. Maybe the beetle like teleported away actually. Maybe I took too long to find it. That's annoying. If that's the case. Well let me mark this then as a uh, with one of these gem things. Cause now it's like I don't don't know where the beetle would have gone. Cause usually it teleports like not very far away from where it was. So I think it's literally just yeah, I think it's literally just fucked off because I took too long. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, let me just teleport here. Okay, I'm just gonna log out here then. Uh, yeah, wow, there's so much stuff to do still in this area. Like, it's crazy. Is Millicent still there? Yeah, she is. I don't know where she moves to next. So I think, if I remember, she does go to the, the sort of windmill area. I'm not sure if she could have, like, gone here, up here. Because that's where I got the... That's where I got the, the the thing. Is it two like... Oh wow, look at that. It's like they're on top of each other. Shaded Castle, Inner Gate, Castellan's Hall. Interesting. Cool. So I'm just going to log out here. Um, yeah, sure. Thanks a lot for watching. And then I'll check you on the next one. Shut and uh, cheers.